Welcome back to Bicycling, where we're joined on the set by the publisher of Bicycling Magazine, Chuck McCullough, to talk about something uh, really very different from racing. Greg, you know, for the last 100 years, the bicycle has been used in a thousand and one different ways, from sport to transportation, for health and fitness, and coming up is a most unusual use. quiet morning in the Swiss countryside. A line of cyclists enjoys a ride, a ride that won't be quiet for long. The shots are blanks and the cyclist soldiers in Switzerland's citizen militia. Oh, Fischer, here. Schellungsraum, richtig so, 20 meters. Yeah. Sektor, links. Once used by armies around the world, today this small neutral country is the only one to send bikes into combat. And if bikes seem out of date in the era of stealth fighters, it has real advantages in a small country. It's a very fast way to move around. Switzerland is very small, so we, we are in another place very, very fast, and also very silent. At night, you can't hear us. The Swiss army has a purely defensive role and the role of the 5,000 cycling troops is to defend areas otherwise impassable by heavier vehicles. There was a time when bicycles were the cutting edge of military hardware, around the 1880s, when the bike was the quickest and cheapest way to move light infantry. Bicycle units proliferated in France, Russia, and even in the United States. Of course, riding a bike into combat isn't easy, the bicycle still used today was introduced in 1905 and only has one gear. Some soldiers also carry 70 pounds of equipment. Despite these hardships, the cycling units enjoy tremendous prestige. They have a lot of prestige because it's an arm that is also a tradition. Because the year we have celebrated the 100 years of the cyclists' army. With the great threat to the east, the Soviet bloc vanished. The Swiss military has revised its strategic plan, but the simple machine that is the bicycle remains a tactical cornerstone. All that is changing, finally, is the bicycle itself. After 10 years of development, the Swiss bike soldier will have a derailleur and seven gears, modern mountain bike style handlebars and index shifting, light alloy components, an impressive shield to protect the derailleur. For the first time, he will have a light. But this new bike is hardly the cutting edge. It still weighs in at a hefty 50 pounds and still features a Model T era saddle made by an octogenarian craftsman. Worst of all, it won't be available until 1994. Well, we've seen how the Swiss military is using the bicycle uh, truck. Any application for the U.S. military these days? Well, Greg, up to 50 years ago, uh, American paratroopers did use uh, folding bikes. They jumped with them. Uh, and as a matter of fact, Bicycling Magazine is working with the U.S. Army to develop uh, a machine for their purposes again. Mm -hmm.